Kamen Rider Zo's origins can be traced back to the success of Shin Kamen Rider Prologue. Originally planned as a sequel to Shin Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider Zo would branch off as a separate and original work. As part of this change, the production team also designated Kamen Rider Zo as the 20th anniversary work for the Kamen Rider series. This is a distinction that had been given to Shin Kamen Rider and led to confusion at the time. This is a situation that is humorously referenced in Let's Go Kamen Rider's Net Movies. Toei video president Yoshinori Watanabe and Bandai Visual president Makoto Yamashina jointly planned the project to ensure there would be a multi-channel promotional campaign to support both companies' goals for video and merchandise sales. They also ensured that the project had a longer promotional cycle to generate anticipation and excitement for this anniversary work. This started with teasers of the project that promised a new Kamen Rider feature in 1993. The promotion used Kamen Rider Black's costume as a stand-in silhouette for the new rider's design, which was still being worked on. While the movie was originally intended for release on its own, a desire to mitigate potential risks at the box office resulted in Kamen Rider Zo playing alongside features for Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger and Tokuso Robo Jam Person. The three movies will play as part of a new event that Toei and Bandai could more easily promote, the Toei Superhero Fair. As part of this programming change, Kamen Rider Zio's running time was shortened to 48 minutes instead of the originally planned for 90 minutes. Kamen Rider Zio was director Keita Amemiya's first nationally distributed work. During the early pre-production phase, the director envisioned the movie as a reimagining of Takeshi Hongo's story from the original Kamen Rider series. He also intended for Kamen Rider Zio's movie to open the door to a full-length TV series centered on the character and his story. But that idea fell through as the project evolved. The movie starred Kodomon in the role of Masaru Aso, Kamen Rider Zio. The actor is also known in the Tokutatsu Hero world for playing Sig in the Metal Hero series Blue Swat, which was broadcast between 1994 and 1995. To learn more about Blue Swat, use the link in the description below to see our episode on it. Kamen Rider Zio also features the world-renowned Japanese singer Isao Sasaki in the role of Dr. Moshizuki, plus Shohei Shibata, who outside of this role is also well known for playing Akumaru in the 1993 Super Sentai TV series Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger. Amen Rider Zio premiered on April 17, 1993 in over 200 venues across Japan. It was a very successful release and one of the top theatrical releases in the country for that month. Kamen Rider Zio's story focuses on Masaru Aso, the former lab assistant to Dr. Moshizuki. Masaru was a test subject for a remodeled human experiment by the doctor that allows him to be transformed into a grasshopper-like being, Kamen Rider Zio. For the past two years, Masaru has laid unconscious in the middle of the mountains where he is suddenly awakened by a telepathic call asking him to protect Dr. Moshizuki's son, Hiroshi. This leads to Masaru confronting several Neo life forms who are trying to kidnap the doctor's son. Masaru and Hiroshi's journey would eventually take them to a remote laboratory-like facility where they find Dr. Moshizuki plus his ultimate creation, Neonoid Doras. In this facility, Kamen Rider Zio would take on Doras to protect Hiroshi and the world from its ambition to become a god and take the minds of all humans.
It's a fairly simple story that allows the movie to include several showcase sequences featuring Kamen Rider Zio fighting the new life forms. This is where Kamen Rider Zio mostly stands out and leverages the strength of its production crew and budget. The movie makes heavy use of traditional tokutatsu effects, but also includes many sequences that leverage stop-motion model animation and computer-generated visual effects. Beyond the optical and explosive effects, the production team also delivered some incredible costumes that gave Kamen Rider Zio and the Neo lifeforms a strong and realistic on-screen presence. This is informed by a design process that incorporated more organic elements in their designs. For example, Kamen Rider Zio's design incorporates lines that resemble the seams in a grasshopper's shell, and instead of using a hashing belt, the design uses a small red core that fits into the bodysuit. The end result is a Kamen Rider movie that for the time was quite revolutionary in how it visually presented the story of its heroic protagonist. Its success would also lead to the production of Kamen Rider J, a movie that takes many cues from Zio's production. While a direct sequel never materialized, Kamen Rider Zio would go on to appear in other movies and TV series after bowing in theaters. The first of these was Kamen Rider World, a short form movie that teams up Zio with Kamen Rider J. You can learn more about this movie through episode 58 of our YouTube series. Use the link in the description below to check it out. Kamen Rider Zio would next appear in the movie Kamen Rider Decade. All Riders vs. Die Shocker, where he joins the final battle and lends Kamen Rider Decade a helping hand. This is followed by appearances in the movie O's, then O, All Riders, Let's Go Kamen Riders, Let's Go Kamen Riders Net Movies, Kamen Rider Super Sentai Superhero Tyson, Heisei Rider vs. Showa Rider, Kamen Rider Tyson featuring Super Sentai, Superhero Tyson GP. Kamen Rider 3, and Kamen Rider Beyond Generations. Beyond movies and TV shows, Kamen Rider Zio was also featured in Hobby Japan's SIC Hero Saga, Kamen Rider Zio Edition, Zio vs. J. It was also the subject of a novelization work, Kamen Rider Zio, Boy in the Dark, which put more focus on the human drama that the movie skips through. And, as part of its promotional campaigns, Zio was also featured as a manga in TV magazine and monthly shonen Captain. But perhaps the character's best known alternate appearance is Wolf Team's CD-ROM game based on the movie, which was released on the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis in 1994. This game was unique for its time in that it was released in North America and was mostly an intact version of the Japanese game, including all the original video footage. In some respects, it could be said that this was one of the first times the Kamen Rider franchise had an official US release beyond the shows that aired in Hawaii and California in the late 1970s. Interestingly enough, the US-based company Media Blasters has recently teased an official domestic release of Kamen Rider Zio alongside Kamen Rider J and Jing Kamen Rider. These movies may see a high-definition release this year, which is a long way to come from the Sega CD's compressed and grainy video release. While we wait for this official release, I highly recommend watching Kamen Rider Zio which is officially available through Toei's Tokutatsu World YouTube channel. Use the link below to check it out.